Let's paint this simple landscape while reviewing Mia Himi Original Fabriano Watercolor Pad. On the cover, it mentions that it's made of pure cotton, cold pressed, 300 GSM, and contains 20 pieces of 135 by 195 millimeter watercolor papers. Let's cut this open and see how it looks inside. You'll see an instruction on how to tear off a sheet and the texture feels quite nice. It is glued on all sides, leaving a 2 inch gap where you can insert a palette knife. But I don't have one so I'll just use my ruler. Carefully insert it on that tiny gap and go all over the sides to remove a sheet. On close up, here's how the texture looks like. Now. Let's test different watercolor techniques by painting a simple landscape. Starting off with my favorite, wet on wet technique. I have prepared my sky and cloud colors, pre-wetted the area with water, and loaded my brush with different shades of blue. You'll see that the pigments didn't really spread farther than I expected. So maybe wet on wet is not for this paper. Next, wet on dry. I'll cover the foreground area with this technique and with different shades of yellow, brown, and green. The colors are vibrant and are well received by the paper. They blend well with each other and I'm pretty pleased with how the first layer turned out. By the way, all these products are made by Mia and you can use the links below and my code to enjoy a discount. Next, lifting. I noticed that the cloud shadows are a little bit darker to my liking, so with a clean, damp brush, I'll lift up some paint. And it did pretty well. Now, from this point onwards, I will add layers of paint and see if it performs well. With the texture of this paper, it is also easy to make the dry brush technique work. I am adding details and impressions of grasses by using this technique. No need to paint every single blade of grass. The colors are still vibrant with every layer, so I guess it could work well with up to four layers of paint. Just make sure to lessen the water with each layer of paint. Let's also test if it will work if I add another wet layer. 
the paint on the first layer didn't come off so that's a good thing and the colors got darker which was intentional is it compatible with masking tape though it is it is a big plus for me that it didn't tear off my painting It did buckle a bit on the upper part where I used wet on wet technique twice, but that's completely understandable since I didn't stretch this paper. All in all, I'll give this an 8 over 10 since wet on wet doesn't really do well on this one, but there are also lots of good points for this paper. It is a good size for quick sketches like this and makes painting not too intimidating for beginners. Have you tried this paper? How's your experience? Let me know in the comments below.